Here is my next update from Tesla Giga Berlin Cyber Rodeo event. Look what we have. This Giga Texas 4680 batteries shared by Sandy Monroe on his Twitter page are wholly manufactured by Tesla. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan coming from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news, unique news, and help us to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers, please. We're about 70,000 and we would like to get to 100,000. So it seems like when it comes to the new 4680 batteries, Tesla has stayed with side cooling instead of cooling from the bottom. Can you confirm that if you guys see it from a different way or in case you are from Giga Texas opening from Cider Rodeo event? These batteries are displayed there and tomorrow I have a very unique report about the new range of Model Y thanks to these 4680 batteries. Well, let's take a look at these batteries, friends. Isn't it interesting that these 4680 batteries look exactly like AA batteries? Look, they are the same cylindrical shape, but the 46s are larger. Some of you may think that these 4680 Tesla batteries were supposed to be tabless. And isn't that a tab on top? The tab was on the inside of the battery, not the outside. The 4680 batteries remove having a single lead, the tab, to connect the cathode and anode to the battery terminals, I was explained. In any case, these new Tesla batteries uh, that are today displayed at Tesla Giga Texas and wholly developed and manufactured by Tesla don't disappoint in my opinion. What about you? Can't wait to hear some actual specific of the pack and capability will put some of the puzzle together for the Cybertruck and I will put some of the puzzle together tomorrow when I announce the range of the Model Y because some of my friends have sent me some images uh, that show the new range thanks to these 4680 batteries of the Model Y. Now I wonder what is the purpose of having those specs in the middle. Look at them. Anybody here has any ideas? Let me know in the comment section please. Uh, so hours ago Tesla Giga Texas displayed Tesla's new structural battery pack for the 4680 battery cells for Model Y and it's going viral. Look how the battery pack size went from the old one to the current structural pack for the 4680 cells. I knew structural um, uh, pack was a breakthrough but this small, this light, um, Tesla's Giga Texas built Model Y will equip the company's structural battery pack and revolutionary 4680 cells. CEO Elon Musk confirmed on the company's quarter four 2021 earnings call. Elon confirmed that Tesla has been building many Model Y units at Gigafactory Texas already, even in January, in recent days as the factory neared production approval. Upon updating listeners that Tesla would begin deliveries of the Tesla built Model Y uh, during the quarter one uh, earnings call, when the vehicle receives an approval certification, Musk then in January confirmed that the 4680 battery cells and structured battery pack system would be used in vehicles built in Gigafactory Texas. And voila, we have now the 4680s displayed at Gigafactory Texas and you're looking at that. The vehicles parked in front of the Cybertruck at today's Cyber Rodeo grand opening appear to be Model Y's, likely the new version that will be made at Giga Texas with the new 4680 battery cells and structured battery pack design. So what do you think, friends, about this new 4680 battery cells? I think they're going to be revolutionary and change Tesla's Model Y range, give Cybertruck more range because they are more energy dense and can have more power and give therefore more range. You agree with that? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for tomorrow's news because I'm going to bring you the range information and also help us please to reach 100,000 subscribers. Every subscription counts. I greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day and see what I have for you next. You are seeing one of the clearest pictures of Tesla Cybertruck right now parked at Tesla Giga Texas uh, for this evening's uh, Cyber Rodeo event. 
as this morning I reported, I said, please subscribe to our channel because I'm going to report lots of details about what's happening at Cyber Rodeo this evening at Giga Texas. And here is a clearest picture of Cybertruck. You know, one of the biggest guests that are going to be at Tesla uh, Rodeo this evening is the Cybertruck. And I'm surprised that uh, we have this picture. Blake Check from Twitter has provided this picture. A friend of friend of her, his friend has sent this. What I want you to pay attention is that um, look at the rear door. Do you see that the rear passenger door looks like it was made from a different shade of steel? So is this going to be the new design of Cybertruck? Uh, made uh, some parts made of different shade of steel? I kind of like it, but I don't know. Would you prefer it to be all the same shade of spe uh, um, uh, steel? Let me know, friends, your thoughts. This is Armin Harayan. Welcome back, everybody. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and help us, please, reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers as we're going to bring you every detail from today's Giga Texas opening. So, Cybertruck images are Tesla's uh, at, uh, Austin's, uh, at Tesla's Austin plant. Plant are right now circulating on social media. So, uh, are we looking for some dignitaries and guests coming or Hollywood performers? Not hardly. We're talking about the Cybertruck to be the main guest at Giga Texas, which Elon Musk introduced in 2019 to a mixed reaction then. Production has been delayed, but that hasn't dampened enthusiasm for Tesla's electric pickup truck. If social media is any indication, including this image, which shows the clearest image. Now, the Cybertruck is officially here for uh, tonight's GigaFest. Tesla, uh, Tesla Economics tweeted along with a video clip of the futuristic looking vehicle. And we're glad we're seeing more images of um, Cybertruck. So, according to a popular reservation tracker in the Tesla community, the Cybertruck has almost 1.4 million reservations right now. Currently, all we know is that the Cybertruck production timeline has been pushed back to next year due to the overwhelming demand for Model Y and also Model 3. Elon Musk stated on the most recent earnings call that Tesla needs to fill the growing backlog for Model Y and Model 3 before starting production on a new vehicle. Based on the ongoing chip shortage and supply chain issues, this strategy certainly seems to make sense. It's the responsible thing to do. Nevertheless, there is a chance we'll see the production version of the Cybertruck for the very first time at the Cyber Rodeo event instead of another prototype. We also may get more visibility into when Tesla will start its production. So tonight I'm expecting lots of real good updates about Cybertruck from Elon Musk. This is why friends, if you're here first time, please subscribe to our channel for the details because I've, I'm going to file several more news reports about the latest on Tesla and also please help us to reach our goal of having 100,000 subscribers right now we're 70,000 or so there is already there's already been some uh, sighting of Cybertruck and Tesla semi at Giga Texas uh, so it's likely they'll be displayed prominently at the event tonight one of them is this one I think I honestly although I have seen videos of the Cybertruck but I haven't seen a clearer picture of Cybertruck in addition there is a chance Tesla will showcase the first Model Y vehicle that are made with the company's new 4680 batteries, although these Model Ys look the same on the outside, under the skin, there are major differences, including a new structural battery pack that adds rigidity and makes the car even safer. In addition, we may get a closer look at Austin's Giga Press, which should make the Model Y easier and faster to produce. Reports via Electric uh, are indicating that Tesla will not reopen Giga Shanghai until Friday, which could represent some 24,000 cars that will not be produced there. That said, this couldn't have happened at a better time for Tesla. With Giga Berlin now open and Giga Austin opening this week, it's likely that Tesla can make up some of the Shanghai shortfall 
in the coming quarter. Will it be enough to make up for the production pause in China? Or was this calculated in the estimates? It all depends on Tesla's ability to ramp up production quickly at Giga Berlin, Giga Factory Austin, and perhaps some added efforts at the company's Fremont factory as well. I think we'll hear more on uh, this from Elon at the Cyber Rodeo event. So tonight, Elon Musk may tell us more about when Tesla expects to open Giga Shanghai. And uh, the last I heard from Twitter about Giga Shanghai is that end of uh, April, actually April 18 or April 19, Tesla may open, uh, the, uh, Shanghai will open uh, in general. So that will mean that Tesla Giga Shanghai will also open. But right now, Cybertruck is the main stage at Giga Factory Texas for tonight's event. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Cybertruck's rare passenger door uh, being made from a different shade of steel? Uh, do you like it? In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Friends, please subscribe to our channel and help us to reach our goal and achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and keep an eye on our website and our YouTube channel because I'm going to bring more all reports today. There will be lots of unique news today about Tesla and the Cyber Rodeo event from Gigafactory Austin. Have a great day and look forward for my next report.